Hello and welcome back to Art Is My Weapon. Today we're going to be talking about Forgotten Chain because they just dropped a spicy new trailer. Uh, the first gameplay trailer that we've seen with the new graphics and it looks very cool. Forgotten Chain was the first blockchain game that I got involved with back in August of 2021. And it is the first MMORPG uh, that looks like WoW and talks like WoW, but will it quack like WoW? So we're going to find out. Uh, you can own land, you can you own all of the items, The there are four classes of character, there's a, a mage, a warrior, an assassin, and a knight, and everything is able to be bought and sold, or, you know, while you're playing the game. It's, I'm so excited for it. Uh, this is, uh, their main menu, ForgottenChain.com, but we're going to go ahead into the trailer here, and I'm going to show you what the future is bringing for blockchain gaming. So let's get to it. Oh! Pretty exciting stuff, right? So, we're here on ForgottenChain.com. As you can see here, they've got the light version, marketplace, white paper, token is secured for the ICO. Um, <clears throat> the public sale will be at three cents, and the private ICO is at one cent. So, there's lots of cool stuff going on here. It is unfortunately um, <clears throat> not accessible to the public at this point time uh, the we are in this initial phase of testing their light version out and being able to the founders are have been able to be in a really cool position to collect and earn uh, nfts within the game so their smart contract audit has just gone through for their token uh, the forgotten token they're going to be five billion tokens and uh it is going to be on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, and the forgotten token will be in denominations of BNB. So this is a BNB game, a blockchain MMM <laughs> massively multiplayer online role-playing game. So as you see here, we have our four characters that I've got. Uh, we've got the mage, assassin, warlock, and knight. All of them are founders, as you see, so that is exciting. Uh, they, they have a storybook, just like many games, it, it is, uh, not many games, I, I've seen a few very well done games that have this, this storybook, so this is really cool that they've done this, but yeah, uh, going ahead to the light version, 
And just again, before we get in here, look how cool this is. Just, just a beautiful, this is just so exciting when I first saw this a couple months ago. Uh, that dragon just looks so cool. So, we've logged in here. We've got our characters. They have different games to play right now. They've got this dungeon game with the portals. And it is a light version. And this is just intended for us to be collecting NFTs that are going to be used in the game. So... Um, they have different versions. This is a battle version. This is a demo version. Easy, normal, hard. Push yourself to the limits. And don't look back. But we've got different uh, abilities here. I look like uh, Sub-Zero. Uh-oh. I'm not- oh wow. Hey, they added a new uh, monster. But yeah, so this is the scroller battle game, and you eventually get to a boss. Alright, so one of the mini games that they have in the light version right now to collect these NFTs is the fishing game. Why you've seen me playing this the most is because, as you see here, in my chest that I collected, I have an epic rod, which is more rare than rare, because it's epic. And the, what's more rare than epic? Legendary, just like my mage staff. So... You're able, if you go to uh, NFT inventory here, this is a two-tailed mount, and these were going for a, a good amount of DNB. There were a limited amount of these two-tailed mounts, and they're going to be beastly. I've got a Founder Grey Horse mount right here, and two of my battle lands all in my wallet, ready to go. These are the dragon eggs, which are waiting to hatch, and for the, the pet adventure game that's coming. Uh, super excited to see what those become. Yeah, all these these eggs. Founder's secret pet egg. I'm so excited to see what they become into. Two of these are supposed to be blue. But yes, these are the fishing chests. And this is how you originally got into this game. Was buying one of the battle chests, the fishing chest, and the mining chest. I've still got an extra one of each. Um, and an extra founder mage champion. So I'm really excited to see the two-tailed mounts. All of the uh, NFTs that I've been collecting are going to be used in the game. So uh, we've got these health potions here and all of the items. Uh, these are rare epic ember chest keys right here. So these epic and rare keys that I have are going to be able to open up uh, chests in the game and give me some cool NFTs as well. So you've got an epic octopus right here. You can give this octopus and to your pets and give them 500 XP um, or it can be used for crafting so if you're familiar with World of Warcraft and crafting games you know you've got all your your all of your mats are, are I'm collecting them now the seashells are gonna be used for magic um, my main is a mage so this is all really exciting it's just been you know this is what we've been doing right here is just fishing and mining and uh, collecting NFTs while they're developing the game. Uh, this isn't on Unreal or Unity. They've developed their own engine and it just looks beautiful. The team behind it is awesome. Uh, they're all doxxed so you can look them up. So we just got an uncommon fish right there. And yeah, this is a Forgotten Chain. So they've got their whole wiki page right here. Alright, so on the Forgotten Chain website, we can see that we have three land tiers in the game, and they are represented by NFTs. The battle, and there's tier 1, 2, and 3. Tier 1 are the kind that I have. I have two battle plots. So, the, the uh, tier 1, it says, those are the battlefields where players can fight bosses, mine resources, and go on amazing adventures. But, also, anyone that fights bosses mines resources and dies doing so all of that goes to me and a small percentage to the game but I get 80% of it or something so I get all of their money their ember I mean their forgotten tokens um, and it used to be called ember but we decided on a new coin for the game uh, which would be the forgotten coin so tier 2 
And so anytime someone drops their mage staff or any of their loot, it goes to me as the owner of that land. So that's amazing. Just imagine being in World of Warcraft and someone drops that legendary mount and now it's yours because you own the land. That's how the blockchain works, baby. So village two are, um, is the second tier are the villages and they are represented by small villages in the game world. Here you can own up to three businesses. When you buy a village, you can also get eight battle lands around it. Tier three are the cities and those are represented by big cities in the game where you can own up to 16 businesses. You can buy a city and also get 30 battle lands around it. Um, earning with land, there's going to be marketplaces where I can sell my art NFTs and gamified things. I can make my own armor on their, uh, their building and their whole engine. So you're going to be able to work and sell your own art in the market. Um, mining and transaction fees for NFTs. If you're a, a tier two, tier three landowner, every time people are doing businesses to, to upgrade their armor, to, uh, breed their mounts for their horses part of that tax goes to you. You get those fees. Um, so that's a cool thing about land ownership in the blockchain. All of this information can be found on the Forgotten Chain website, forgottenchain.com. Access, access this through the website. And all of the information that you want to read about it is right here. For breeding, uh, you got the guild system. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, the lore is awesome. This is the most in-depth MMORPG uh, today on the blockchain. Um, so get involved in the Discord now so that when the public sale and the mining and fishing chests and the battle chests go live again, you're able to get involved right away. So I will leave the link in the, the description below for the Discord. Ask me any questions. This is an interactive channel. I'm engaged with the 92 subscribers that are watching. Thank you so much for being here. I've got so much content loaded up. So as always, stay spicy. You are loved. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for us. Take care and I'll see you soon.